as of uh, July 5th uh, of this year, there was a one time only song, uh, and probably the only song written by uh, a band uh, called uh, Goche. And it was uh, called uh, Somebody I Used to Know. And back in, uh, in the 2010s, uh, that was probably uh, the most uh, well-known song uh, that was uh, for a poster breakup uh, where of course uh, goes to go to anything now you're somebody that I used to know so basically uh, So Goche, whose real name is uh, Wout, Wouter Andre de Becker, born in uh, Belgium, and uh, who uh, now lives in Australia, he originally released some uh, music uh, in uh, 2001. And then uh, some uh, full two full length albums, uh, and in uh, 2011, uh, making mirrors, uh, which uh, a single off of the third studio album, uh, making mirrors. Uh, and then a uh, well known song uh, with the uh, New Zealand artist uh, Kimbra. Somebody that I used to know uh, was released in uh, July 5th, uh, 2011. And uh, that song uh, sold over 1 million uh, units in uh, you know, the Great Britain uh, in the year of its release and uh, downloaded uh, 6.8 million times in the US the same year. It was uh, also peaked number one in the charts in 26 countries, including. Great Britain and also USA. And most and the song's music video on YouTube uh, racked up uh, 2.1 billion views at the time of the writing, uh, which was marked it as the most popular videos to be uploaded on uh, YouTube. Which uh, that was the prob the only song uh, under the and there has been no music uh, by uh, written by uh, him. And uh, by 2012, and uh, and uh, there had been no reason that why uh, Order didn't wa want to uh, be a musician, uh, and uh, also he uh, Order he said he uh, he was feeling wary of uh, monetizing his music to the point where he stopped running ads on YouTube videos. Uh, and he said, I'm not interested in selling my music. That's why the reason I don't put ads on my YouTube channel, which seems strange to people in today's climate. But that's a decision you can make. I'm uh, like that with all my music. As I'm for calling for attention anywhere we turn in the world. I decided it made more sense to focus on creative things and not get hung up on money and lawyers and courts. And while uh, he never officially re retired, uh, 
in 2014, he uh, informed fans that there will be no new Goche music uh, through a mus newsletter. And while people were awaiting uh, Goje to uh, release that new uh, music, uh, while order the Becker decided to do some other things, uh, which uh, he released in 2014, uh, an independent record called Spirit Level, uh, and he uh, re remained an active member of band the band The Basics, uh, which uh, they uh, retired in, uh, from touring in 2021. And he, he was inspired off uh, electronic uh, music pioneer Jean-Jacques Perry's uh, discography. In which uh, is uh, titled uh, Jean Jacques Berry et Son Audio Land, which released in uh, May 2017. Uh, Order the Becker has uh, remastered his idol's uh, work. And uh, with this six piece orchestra, and while um, Warder the Becker is not doing any Goche songs, uh, he's still an inspiration for people who uh, do music. And uh, and while he's not making any music, or is he? Still planning on making music, and he uh, just has some uh, music uh, stored up in the vault and that are unreleased, and he's just planning to release that uh, sometime. That fans will uh, are waiting for him to drop it. He's uh, still uh, living his best life in Australia, and So we will uh, be seeing uh, whether uh, Order the Vector uh, drops any new music. And uh, we'll still uh, play uh, somebody that I used to know. And uh, while uh, musicians uh, these days uh, are so reliant on ads, uh, That doesn't mean that uh, your song is worth it just because you use ads. So it was a good idea that Walter uh, the banker uh, decided to uh, take another uh, different route and uh, not go that way. Because a lot of uh, artists uh, who use uh, Vivo, uh, you see their uh, songs that uh, pop up and uh, or they just uh, use the YouTube ads and uh, it sound uh, cheesy and uh, not worth uh, listening to if you don't have a certain preference or they're uh, amateurs. Or... or they don't have uh, put enough quality into it or put effort into it. In which uh, just uh, using advertisement uh, does not make mean uh, your music is uh, good or bad. Uh, but how much effort did you put into it? How much quality did you uh, focus on it? And uh, don't uh, focus on uh, if it's a big hit. Is it worth a listen? What is the message behind it? Because uh, most of the songs these days, they don't uh, have that, and uh, and uh, when uh, Walter uh, the Vector 
I don't think the coach Jay dropped out somebody that I used to know. At least that that was the generation that still had quality music. Check out the song below.